Hello world, my name is Tim Rosswick, and today I want to walk you through a little bit about my game, Cypherpunk. Cypherpunk is a stealth hacking roguelike, and I want to kind of show you the game a little bit and explain how to play and what it is and kind of where we're going with it design-wise. Because I posted devlogs previously, but they've just kind of been time lapses, and I want to try something new. And I realize a lot of people don't actually know how to play the game because the game really isn't in a super usable state at the moment. So uh, what you're looking at now is the net map and you can choose nodes on the net map and then you go into a server which is uh, this little room and when you're in this this little room it the idea is that this is a computer system and you're digitally in there and you can find these little chips uh, called uh, in this build we changed the terminology a bunch but they're currently called macros and um, you can grab them and they're basically like abilities and stuff and when you siphon which is what i was doing there grabbing resources off the map uh you increase a threat level in the top right which um makes bad things happen so you got to be kind of be careful how much you take from the map and right there that ended up killed me because it <laughs> it took a turn it wasn't supposed to uh i i've kind of not very good at this game you ever make a game and then realize that you're not good at it because that's what i do uh okay so i'm back in the net map trying a new run and they have different icons and stuff and i realize the game isn't super great about that kind of stuff so uh what i find here is a gadget and that went into my bottom left slot there and i have two slots which allows me to switch between them uh to use them and they do different things so the the freeze one freezes and then the the left one the laser uh, will hit uh, and hurt an enemy. Every time I siphon, obviously the enemies can detect that and they come looking for you. And you see in the top right, the threat level goes up uh, and it spawns an enemy, which is scary because you can get overwhelmed. Now, um, I think we're, my goal with this was to make something as complex and deep as a roguelike, but make it more accessible uh, and I have the clarity now after taking a little bit of break from this to see that this game is not is not that uh, it's not easily recognizable it's not understandable at a glance and some things don't even make sense like using your mouse to figure out what power-ups are and what abilities are um, when when it, the game should tell you right the game doesn't give you any controls you don't know how to use anything and so it's it's pretty bad uh, at this point like the game when you know how to play is fun like you don't know what any of those icons mean right you don't know what any of that stuff does so i think the game is is in a good state when you know how but the game doesn't teach you how to play the game which i think is just as important right if the game doesn't teach you how to play it then it's bad because you don't know how to play it and it's a shitty game it sucks so um it helps us sometimes to get away and, and get the clarity to see that. Uh, these yellow tiles represent their the is enemy C range, but again, that doesn't do a good job visually to tell you uh, what's going on. And uh, new players have struggled with that. Uh, so I think the game currently is very hard. Another problem that we're struggling with as well uh, is the fact that the enemies are just as fast as you and so getting an enemy on your ass is very very dangerous because um, uh, some of them can go as fast as you and then the ones that go half as fast as you which is these little guys um, that's not super clear the game doesn't really tell you that and it just another thing that's just weird and small is that like you have to use the mouse to figure out what an item is but nothing else in the game uses the mouse so it's kind of weird to like only tell you what's going on with tooltips um so we got a lot of work to do have a lot of work to do and i think like i said the game the game is pretty much there the game i think is interesting it has depth it's fun uh we just are gonna have to do a bunch of work on usability stuff and learnability stuff and making the game itself easier to play so it's, you know, it is what it is. Right now I'm using a chip decryptor gadget, which basically turns chips into resources. But again, that's something to, like, how, how would you know that? How would you know that? Like, I knew that because I made it, but like, how would anybody else know that? 
and so it it helps so much sometimes to just take a step back take a break and uh be able to see your game with fresh eyes because without that it's like what <laughs> you need that clarity you know clarity is super important uh so i'm trying to hide from these enemies I'm trying to trying to figure out my strats and i killed myself with fire good job so uh so far we have about 442 hours into this game now if you remember this was supposed to be a thousand hour project uh we'll see if we can pull that off but most of this game's development is straight up systems and so programming is the biggest chunk there in blue uh which is crazy and uh i've I, I consider the pre-production, uh, like prototyping and stuff, like I, I keep track of all that and we spend a lot of time prototyping, figuring out what this game is. And then you can see, like, obviously I put in like 15, 16 hour days during the uh, Cyberpunk jam when I was working on it, but then, you know, I've kind of dropped back to, to normal levels a little bit. Um, so I'm excited. I, I think this game mechanically is in a good place, just usability wise. It's not... And so over the coming weeks, uh, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is doing a heavy push towards usability, even if that means changing systems and changing uh, how systems work to, I will change their function in order to change uh, people's ability to, to use them properly. So, cause it's really, really important to me. It's really important to me. That's one of the main design goals of this game and this game fails at it currently. So uh, I hope you'll follow my journey uh, with Cypherpunk, thousand hour dev experiment. And uh, if you currently want to follow the game or the new game, because these devlogs are a little bit behind um, the actual progress of the game, if you want to follow that, you can go to the, the Skullbox Studios Discord, which is my Discord specifically for um, my games, separate from Game Dev Underground. And you can come help me test builds and we can hang out and we can talk about it. Uh, link will be in the description down below. But my name is Tim Rosswick. Thank you so much for being here, being a part of uh, my channel, and uh, I would love your comment. What do you think? How, how, how do you feel about this? Any tips, strategies, pro strats? I learn from you guys just as much as you learn from me, so feel free to leave them down in the comments below. My name is Tim Rothswick. I'll talk to you later.